Hi everyone, let's take a look at exercise 12-6, which deals with recording and amortizing of intangibles. Orlando Marshall Company, organized in 2006, has set up a single account for all intangible assets. The following summary discloses the debit entries that have been recorded in 2007. And you can see to the uh, right of my mouse here that there's been five of them. Okay, what we're asked to do on this is to prepare the necessar necessary entries to clear the intangible assets account and to set up separate accounts for distinct type of intangibles. And we'll make the entries as of December 31st, 2007, the ending of the year, and we'll record any necessary amortization and we'll reflect all balances accurately as of that date and we're, we should use straight line amortization. Okay, so we have 350, 360, 450, 156, and 215 that were all set up in a single intangible asset account. Well, we need to, uh, you know, record the debits and the credits. So, um, why don't we set what set up those various accounts? So, the first thing we'll need to do, and we're making this entry on 12 31 2007, right? Um, oh, and I don't want that pink color to show anymore. So we'll create a patents account. Um, it looks like we've purchased some goodwill. We need to purchase that. Um, we also obtained a franchise um, and we incurred some copyrights. And then we also had some research and development costs which need to be expensed. So we'll call that research and development uh, expense. Okay, and since I have the dollar amounts here, uh, I'm going. I'm going first. Let me abbreviate that. So um, I'll do it this way, so that we know what that is, and then we can just simply reference where those dollar amounts come from. Once we have the first one, we should just be able to copy and get all of those to come down correctly. Now that total amount there. Uh, should be one million five hundred and thirty one thousand. I'll sum that so you can follow my work here. Um, I'm just clicking auto sum right here. See, and there's the total. So why don't I just write total here, just so you know it's all there. Okay. Okay. So once we do that, then uh, we know we could simply reference that cell, and now we've made the entry to take what was immediately put into an intangible asset account. Let's label that. Okay, they debited intangible assets for all those items. Well, we need to clear that out and debit these, ounce, these amounts here. So now we've got the intangibles written on the books at the correct amount, and the R&D, of course, flows through the income statement. Okay, then what we need to do... Uh, actually, why don't we say what this is to... Uh, um, uh, to reclassify intangible assets and I'm just going to say correctly okay so that's what that entry is for then the next entry we need to deal with is any amortization expense if there was any so again and we'll make an entry on the same date and we need to record amortization expense okay what we know is the patents had uh, an eight-year life so we need to take that patent expense and divide it by eight to come up with the full year um, a depreciation for 2007. Now, of course, they incurred this on the first day of the year, so we'll take a full year amount, right? There's our first day. Um, and we from that, we're going to need to add to it. But, you know, rather than do it this way, I think what I'll do is I will reference the items that are going to require amortization, which would be patents. Um, it would be the franchise, move this out of the way, and it would be the copyrights. Okay, and then we'll indent those because all of those are going to uh, receive a credit. All right, now I'm going to move that there, and then the franchise is equal to the 450000 with a 10-year life. It was acquired on 7 one 2000, uh, 7 1 of the current year. So, really, what we have is a 10 year life. Well, watch how I do this now. 
uh, stay focused on cell G22 divided by um, 10 year life and then we can multiply that times 6 twelfths to, or 1 half to represent half the year of amortization that we need to take. And then copyrights was, is 156,000 and they tell us up here that the copyright has a five year life and we acquired that on 8-1-2007 so again stay focused on cell G23 now we'll take that divided by five years times five twelfths of a year to get the partial year uh, amortization so once I have that then I can just sum those amounts right or add them up and we've determined what the amortization expense is and then we would say to record amortization expense and I'm going to abbreviate uh, here I just do it this way for 2007 okay and then the last uh, um, I think item that they asked us to do on this and I know I didn't I didn't provide the instructions for you to see was to just indicate what the correct balances would be as of that date so um, with that in mind I'm going to slide a little bit and why don't we just take uh, reference these here and we, here's what we'll do we'll just let me move this down one and we'll say account balances as of 12 31 207 so right before we put the balance sheet together then I'll indent this and we'll copy patents goodwill franchises and copyrights and uh, if I format this here to get this correctly, um, what we will come up with is patents would be equal to the 350 less the 43,750 or 306,250. Goodwill is 360, right? There's no amortization of goodwill. Franchises is the 450,000 less the amount of the franchises franchise we've been amortizing, partial year amount. Um, yeah, one half the year. And then the copyright's the same thing. We take the original cost less the amount of amortization. And that gives us the account balances as of 12-31-207. And that's everything that was called for on this exercise. So let me slide back up. Okay. And uh, I hope you found this beneficial. Thanks, everyone.